what's up guys it's me here Herlanda also known back in the day as Pooh Bear 253 some people in the community still call me Pooh Bear 253 that's me so I'm here in the nursery forgive the heater sound because it's a bit chilly and I have my breakfast here I just started it it's the vanilla we drink vanilla in the morning and we drank the chocolate for dinner. Mm. But today I'm going to be drinking the chocolate for lunch because we're going out for Valentine's Day. <clears throat> Let me see. Can you see my babies? Y'all see my babies? Look at my babies. My girls. Aren't they just the cutest? Those are my babies. So, I have Anastasia and Persephone here. Like, them together is just such cuteness. Like, y'all, I don't think I'm going to be able... Wait, I thought you rattled. No, it's the other one. That... I thought you did rattle. Maybe this... There was something I bought that rattled. I thought this rattled. Was it something else I bought that rattled? I'm looking in the crib. No. Oh, this rattled. <laughs> that one rattled. I was like, it was something I just recently bought that rattled. My little unicorn girls. Oh my gosh. So Anastasia's rocking the unicorn um little outfit that we got from Wish. You guys saw, if you saw my video last night, you saw me changing her into this. And she has on her little boots from Wish as well. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. And she has her, I was trying to show you guys at the camera that these are little unicorns. Her little unicorn hand mittens. And mommy tied her a little bow. Because she has the hat on, but it's loose. So I tied the bow to keep the hat down on her. I, when I tell you I love my girls, oh my gosh. Y'all, I love my girls. I wonder what body Persephone has because Anastasia has the Grant and Elliot six month. Grant Elliot and there's another one. And you guys saw me change her and I gave Fat Mama some more weight. And she feels so much better. She feels like close to her sister size now. Oh my goodness. When I tell you, y'all, I love this baby girl. I love these baby girls. I mean, they are so dang on cute. Okay, and they both gonna have a unicorn. Okay, hey, you hold this unicorn. Okay, and you hold this unicorn. There, oh my gosh. All right. Ugh, y'all. What's going on? I, um... I'm just here just to chat for a little bit. Mm. I wish I could, uh, uh, I could, let me see, let's do this. Let me see. Let's turn. And let, ooh. My bad. Hold up, hold up. Okay. There, okay. And then, oh, wait, wait. Yes, this way. Yeah, like that. Ha! Nah. Okay. So, okay, I'll put that blanket on there. Y'all, when I put them together last night, I was like, yeah. So, I, don't, I already told her because the whole reason why I was able to get Persephone was because I was telling her, you know, well, I'll sell the other one, you know, and that'll make back some of the money. And whatnot. And <laughs> I've kind of like back out on that because I'm like, oh, but they're so cute together. So I don't know if that'll change. But as of right now, they're sisters, they're twins. And that's just how it's going to be for right now. So happy Valentine's Day to everyone out there, all the lovers out there it is valentine's day hubby left me some little 
Ferrero Shea chocolates on my nightstand on my tablet this morning. I woke up, I'm like, what is that? And I said, oh, I hope you left me a Valentine. We said, he said we wasn't exchanging Valentine's gifts, but obviously he make a rules on his own. He had said, well, you had said, well, baby, you could just give me a little chocolate, a little Valentine's. I forgot I said that, but... <laughs> So he bought me a little chocolate because for real Rocher, that was like one of my favorite chocolates. And so he got me that. I'm slowly drinking my lean protein shake. And I just posted on Instagram that I'm like, I was really expecting for this to be a lot harder than what it really is. I don't know if because we've probably been training for this for years. It has been a constant progression for me and Cedric with our weight loss journey. Like we started small and then we just kept making improvements and improvements that we adjusted to this and this uh positive lifestyle change. Then we moved to this, then we moved to that. Because you know the first thing we did was we cut out the fast food and the bad eating. Then we started ex well, actually we started exercising first. And we started exercising first and we were still eating bad and we was like, we're not losing any weight. So we was like, okay, so we need to do this. Then we started cooking all our meals and then we started doing the small plates, the little portion plates. Then we cut out more carbs, we cut out more bread, we added more exercise, we added weights, we added this, you know, and um it just kept progressing and like to me this was like the next on the evolution chart so i have since i i have you guys here i have my little kitty calendar here and this was yesterday and it says no cat ever has a bad hair day so today valentine's day let's flip it over for february 14 and see what it says it says the oldest ugliest smelliest cat can often be the most loving. Okay. I guess. That's kind of weird. Okay. But that's what it says. Crystal, where did you get this thing from? <laughs> I'm like, okay. Which is probably true. I, I, I agree with that statement. And he's like, someone please love me. Take me home and give me a bath. Probably so. That's kind of me though. Ugliest. I don't think any cat is ugly. Um, because I love cats. And these girls, they just, they warm my heart. They're so cute. So, oh, excuse me, because I'm like, okay, so I think I need to switch it back around the other way. Because we're going to be getting someone dressed today. All right, ladies and gents. Are y'all ready to see who we're changing today? <laughs> My sweet little nugget. Y'all, I have been ugh, racking my brain trying to think of a name for this sweet little baby. Okay, let me see. Y'all can't really see. Let me switch y'all over here. Wee! <laughs> I wish y'all like she's so crazy. Okay. <clears throat> there, that's better, y'all. Nah. Say hey, aunties. Hey, uncles. I do not want to take him out of this little outfit, though. Y'all. Isn't he just the cutest in this little outfit? I was going to change him into his big boy outfit that his auntie sent with him for his box opening. Say, aunties. Let mommy kind of just sip. And chat with y'all for a little while so we can enjoy this outfit for a few more minutes. So I'm bumping, I'm rocking, and I'm rocking the girls at the same time. Because, <laughs> like, their feet are right there. So let's just kind of drink a little breakfast. And let's just chat for a second. Because I just do not want to take him out of this just yet. Um, Today's my last day off. I hope you guys have been enjoying hanging out with me for the last few days. I enjoy when I have time off and I can come and interact with my babies and come and chat with you ladies and gents out there that enjoy um, coming by my channel. 
And I bet y'all like Pooh Bear has really been enjoying doing her video edits. I really have. I have been enjoying that a lot. That oh, and I've been I I realized I've been pronouncing it wrong all this time. It's um it's kind master, not kin master. So kind master, the little editing software thing app on my cell phone. It makes it so easy to edit. And hopefully after I get pretty good at it. Maybe I'll try another one or find some more upgrades. Because I'm looking for more uh, sound effects and some more um, some layovers or overlays, whatever it's called. Like the little stickers and the little popping hearts and stuff that I put on there. And so, I know the last like time I attempted to do um, video editing, it, it did not... It did not work out well in my favor. So, so I guess because I had the wrong app. So what I plan on getting him dressed in, he has a little... I'm just going to try the preemie diapers on him. Because the other cloth diapers are not going to fit him. This little hat's probably going to be too big. I'll probably try to pin it in the back. But it's this is supposed to be a dinosaur. I know it looks like a gray frog. But it goes... With this onesie, it's like a little set that comes with a sleeper and everything. And this is Carter's newborn. It has dinosaurs on there. And this was the one onesie that would match the little khaki little pants that Yogi sent with him. And this cute little shirt that will go that's going to go over it. So that's my plan to get him dressed in that. And yeah, as you can see, I don't have any mittens or socks. So you guys can, um, so I can show you guys his little hands and feet because they are adorable <clears throat> but right now I've been like trying to brainstorm and trying to figure out a name for him like I look at him and like I, I was thinking he could kind of be like his brother And I was going to um, name him something, you know, with the, I was thinking of like Orion, like the Cosmos and outer space type of deal is what I was thinking about. Just kind of brush his hair and I'm going to show you guys how pretty his hair is. I do need to trim it a little bit. Cause it's kind of got some uh, some pieces that are kind of long, so I'm gonna go through and trim it at some point. And it's got a couple little stragglies like back here. It's like some long pieces back here. But his hair is so pretty full. Yogi did such a gorgeous job with my baby. I have been enjoying Yogi's work since I've been in the community. I have one of my babies that came back to me. One of my old school Yogi babies. My sweet little Yuriana. And she was... Uh, with the exception of like Dimitri, she was one of my favorites. And she was one of those whim, whim babies for me. Let me see if I can cut just a few of these little scraggly hairs. I need some smaller scissors. But for what I need to get, hold on. Let me get a comb. Okay. 
I always get so nervous when I have to trim my baby's hair because I am like in no way, shape, or form any type of like stylist. I'm just cutting off the little long bits is all I'm doing. Put the trash can over here so I can put it in there easily. Just the little long hairs that kind of they kind of it's uh that kind of escaped. So excuse me if I'm not talking for a second. I am highly concentrating. There we go. Alright. Say that wasn't too bad, huh, Mama? Let me see. Got one long one right here. Let's see if I could just snap just that one. Snap. Okay. Got that one. Let's see over here. And his hair is so pretty full. Got a couple little strays. No, that one's that's fine. Let's see. It's a couple little strays right here. Just they're just a little tiny bit. Mommy is being very careful. Okay. Isn't he cute? Y'all, I need a name for my baby. I'm trying to think because he's so precious. It's like, ugh. He's so darn precious. Like, I, I can't mess this up. Like, I have to find a name that is perfect for him. And Yogi, I will say again, you did the doggone thing, girl. Okay, yeah, that's much better. I will say again, you did the doggone thing. Okay, let's get these few little shragglers right here. Let's see. Eh. Okay. All right, got that. I think we're good. Oh, mommy got some fuzz coming out. Around your neck. You know, when you're um, closing the baby back off, and sometimes a little bit of polyfill will be sticking out around the edge. <laughs> oh my god, man. And I had wanted to put my other baby together, my kit, my, um, my, um, Amani, but I just didn't get to it. Yeah, I think that's good right there. <sighs> okay. So now let me run. Hold up. For the folks out there that say that they enjoyed me talking more. Here I am. I'm a talking. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying. And please give this video a thumbs up. And a big old smiley face and a and, and a and a and make sure you subscribe and everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? I try to um accommodate everyone. So, you know, I'm gonna continue to do my edited videos. I'm gonna continue doing my chatting videos. And an update on my handmade and um and like crochet items, all the girls are up here on the top, and the boys are down here on the bottom. Remember, all of them were at the bottom. As you can see, the boys don't have as much. So those are the boys' crochet knit handmade items. And ugh, here are the girls' crochet knit and handmade. All the handmade dresses are underneath that I got from Nana, 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 and like the hats 
that I made are right here. The hats that I got from Kelsey are right here. And like these type of little hats that I had gotten over the years are like right here and stuff. So, and like the hats that I got from um, Kimberly and some cute little preemie sets that I've gotten from um, Hey There Spooky Face and such. So, yeah, okay, let me put these scissors up for I stab my baby accidentally and I will cry like a big baby if that were to happen. All right, so I'm kind of let you guys get a close up of his beautiful hair. Look at his beautiful hair. He's so, he so pretty. All right, so let me get my little rolly here. So I can roll the hair off him. And I believe I have like procrastinated enough. So I have also packed my lunch for tomorrow. You guys know I am like the most preparing type of person like everything's already ready to go like I have my workout clothes for not tomorrow tomorrow's already in the car but like for next week already like sitting up on my dresser and everything I'm so happy that I bought this kit and that I sent this baby to Yogi to re to reborn. She did not disappoint at all. As I knew she wasn't. Because Yogi's a rock star. When it comes to her craft. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's make sure we got all the little hair bits off of you. There's one. Missed one. I've had this little outfit for a little while. Like I said, my peanut. My little peanut Elijah was first baby out that wore this outfit. Do not want to come off. There, we go. there. There. Yeah. So there we go. And those are the hairs. All right. So I guess say we have procrastinated enough. Mama, say it's time to get me all changed. Like I was thinking of like. I was saying Orion, then I was saying Lyric, but like it's just nothing, nothing that I have said so far, like, is it? Like, I can't think of a name for this little baby, and it's driving me nuts, because he needs a name, and he needs the perfect name, and I'm just... really struggling it's currently 10 10 in the morning here i woke up around eight the time i woke up uh, uh, trying to hold the mitten there we go <laughs> look how big that is on his hand yeah. Oh goodness. So I think honestly, like I said, he can wear newborn. Newborn is um big on him, but I feel as though preemie, like the new Carter's preemie, would probably fit this little guy the best. So but like I say, it's not for lack of trying. Like I have been I've gone to the stores where I normally go to purchase my baby's clothes from, like, the little discount stores like Ross and TJ Maxx and 
Michaels, not Michaels, um, Ma what's the name of that other place that stuff with it? Yeah, Marshalls. That's what it is. But like, I've been coming up short. And don't even get me started on trying to go to like Walmart or Target or anything to find baby clothes because I don't know if it's just me, but I'm like to the point where nothing wows me anymore. Like everything's just like, oh, seen that already. It's like so hard for me to buy for my babies because nothing tickles my fancy because it'll be like I'll go and I'll pick up some stuff and I'll kind of walk around with it for a little while I'm like eh, I have something kind of like this already or oh, it's cute but then I look I say oh the price I look at the price and I'm like eh, it ain't worth the price and I just go back and forth back and forth till I eventually leave with either nothing or like two items There we go. So I've been getting my babies dressed one at a time. So the only baby, well, the only baby in the crib currently that has clothes on is Cadence. She has her little gray bunny outfit on. And I have to say, the only reason why I got that little set was because it was a dollar for all the pieces. And I figured maybe I could resell it and make a little money off of it. If anybody is interested in that little Peter Cottontail, little expensive thing that was at Target, like, if you want to, I know, <laughs> I don't know, you're like, well, you only paid a dollar for it, but I want to make some money off of it. So, if anybody does want it, I'll sell, like, that whole sit, set for, like, $15. The shirt, the pants, and a little jacket, that'll make me a little few extra bucks. If anybody's interested, if not, I'll just keep it. Or donate it. Say that's how the world works. Cause I don't know why that stuff was a dollar at um dirt cheap, but it was. And I didn't ask any questions. I just bought it. <clears throat> so yeah, he already has his little newborn diaper on. I might let him just keep his little newborn diaper on. He's so cute. My little man. I don't know. I kind of want to. I'm thinking of like a name. With maybe that starts with E or L. Something like that maybe. His hair is so soft. Um, cause I just been like, I've been trying and you not guys know, I love like Greek names. Like, you know how I got like Eudorus and Elias, Tyrion's middle name is Elias. You know, I like those names that end with like A-S or, uh, that end with, um, like with, with those S's, U-S. And I like, like, names that end with A-N, like Tyrion and stuff. So it's like, I don't know. Let's try the preemie diaper on him and see what it's like, what it, what it fits like. His sweet little feet. <laughs> he has the sweetest little feet. And they just have such expression to them. Those little stretched out toes. Have to be careful with those little stretched out toes. I don't want him to lose any of his paint. I just find it so funny how I had this baby in my collection. And I was like, oh yeah, he's going to be a girl. He's going to be a girl. I made a mistake and put that dinosaur onesie on him. And I was like, oh, that's it. He's a boy. <laughs> and it kind of works out perfectly because I um, donated um, my little baby that was gifted to me by Stephanie Nolan. I donated him to the um, my mom's the nursing home that my mom 
volunteers at. So I didn't have to buy a whole bunch of clothes. He's just he now has Nolan's drawer. And I was using my little labeler thing to um put Cassian's name on his drawer for his pacifiers. And also, yeah, he can fit preemie. Whoa, whoa. Say barely. Let's say it's on me. <laughs> Let me see if I can straighten it up a little bit more. Eh. Say barely. My, but don't don't all in the way. Trying to lift it up some. Anybody fidgets with their diapers as much as me? Like, it has to be on there perfect. <laughs> I just sit and fidget and fidget. And if it's not even, like, I take it or lose, put it back, take it or lose. And this one is flipped. The thing is flipped right here and it's bothering me. And it won't lay down. There we go. And they say to drink those shakes slow. And I think I drink them extra slow. And I think that's why, you know, I've been doing so well. I had posted on Instagram, I'm already down, what, what did I say, 5.6 pounds? I'm already down 5.6 pounds since Monday, and it's only Wednesday morning. So, yeah. Only thing I'm kind of concerned about, look how long this is. That's going to be so baggy on him. Oh, well. <clears throat> Only thing I'm kind of concerned about is tonight, we're going out for Valentine's Day, so I'm going to try to um pick some pretty okay choices or something because i don't want to derail but you know i'm going to be drinking the shake for breakfast and for lunch and then you know tonight is going to be our dinner so and we have reservations for seven o'clock at some restaurant i don't remember but I, I was going to get some type of fish meal. It looked really good. Well, it sounded really good. It didn't have a picture or anything. And I don't know if Hubby said what he was going to order or not. Well, I tell you, I just feel so blessed to be able to be a part of this community because like I say this being a part of this community is definitely a privilege and not a right like to be able to afford to collect these beautiful babies like yeah like yeah all right let's put this little grown man pants on you know what I'm gonna brush his hair and put his hat on Brush it real gentle. Like I said, it's directionally rooted, so we're good. And Yogi says when she was creating him, uh, when she finished with him, she said he reminded her of Tyrion. So we're going to do a little side-by-side -side with them to see if they have any, like, comparisons or whatever there sweet boy see I was supposed to be a girl but mommy put a boy onesie on me and say that was it see that was it after she put that uh oh after she put that boy onesie on me see I was a boy after that <laughs> I mean it was just instant oh my gosh I was like oh And he just has the perfect little 
peanut head. A little nugget head for hats. There we go. All right, so let's put his little pants on, his little grown man pants. And, oh, y'all, this video is 35 minutes long. See, this what y'all asked for. Y'all ain't want me to speed it up. <laughs> well, not everybody. I don't know. Do you guys rather these long 35-minute videos? Or did you guys like when I kind of sped it up a little bit? Let me know in the comment section. And I figured to please everybody, you know, you do some like this, some like that. He got his little balloon hammer pants on. <laughs> oh, goodness. So we had to have something to go underneath his little... Oh, I dropped the sock. Oh, excuse me. Oh, if I'm in a way, excuse me. There we go. So let's put his little... His little jacket on. Now we're, let me unbutton this. Let's try that again. Do do do. There we go. Trying to see do I want to do it like this. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Let me unboard this side. Y'all, this video is way too long. And nobody's going to sit and watch all of this video. So, as soon as I finish, I'm going to be like, see y'all later. I have taken up too much of y'all time. I'm going to go file my nails because my nails look a mess. There we go. So there's my little dude. Let me see. I want to button the last two buttons. There. Okay. Let's see. Let's pick him up. Fix it in the back. Fix his little collar. All right, Auntie. Uh oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Aunties and uncles. I'm sorry I forget for all the guys out there in our community. I'm sorry. I just I'm so used to just saying ladies. So I try to say ladies and gentlemen. So just forgive me, please. If I ever do just say ladies, I mean ladies and gentlemen because there are some fellas in our community. So, all right, ladies and gents, here he is in his little grown man outfit. <laughs> here are his little toesies. I'm keeping his little feet and his little hands out. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this very long, chatty, changing video. And I am going to... And that's another thing I enjoy about editing. It takes so much less time to upload them. Um, so this video, you guys probably won't be seeing till tonight because it's probably going to be uploading for two years. All right. I'm out of here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my sweet little baby voice. Uh, change the video. And he still does not have a name yet. I'm still trying to think of a name. And I'm like thinking seriously long and hard on his name because I want him to have the most perfect name. So, yes. And I am open to suggestions uh if anybody has any i like unique names but not like crazy but i mean well to me i don't know to my names that i pick may be crazy to you guys but yeah so here he is we out of here say peace out family mwah, mwah. i'll see you guys in the next video mwah. peace bye bye Thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.